Good morning to everyone. Welcome back to our Tuesday edition of our devotion. And to start with, let's bow our heads in prayer. Father, we thank you for the way you bless us throughout the week. We thank you, Lord God, for your grace that abound and that whatever needs, Lord God, that thy people are asking for, you're always there, Lord God, to provide it. And also, Lord, for those that needs protection, you always protect them. And so today, Lord, we believe that you are the God who started a good work in our lives. We'll continue to do good things and to finish it, Lord God, until your return. So bless us all together as we go on, Lord God, with our devotion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, our text for today's devotion is taken from the book of Daniel, chapter 2, and I'll be reading verse 1 to verse 23. O gamidyo taas taas ni, pero mas may nang basaw na to o taas o niya hinahinayo na to papasa para masapta na to ang bot pasabot din ni sa maong pangitabo ni ining maong chapter 2. One night, during the second year of his reign, Nebuchadnezzar had such disturbing dreams that he couldn't sleep. He called in his magicians, enchanters, sorcerers, and astrologers, and he demanded that they tell him what he had dreamed as they stood before the king. He said, I have had a dream that deeply troubles me, and I must know what it means. Then the astrologers answered the king in Aramaic, Long live the king, tell us the dream, and we will tell you what it means. But the king said to the astrologers, I am serious about this. If you don't tell me what my dream was and what it means, you will be torn limb from limb and your houses will be turned into heaps of rubble. But if you tell me what I dreamed and what the dream means, I will give you many wonderful gifts and honors. Just tell me the dream and what it means. They said again, Please, Your Majesty, tell us the dream and we will tell you what it means. The king replied, I know what you are doing. You're stalling for time because you know I am serious when I say if you don't tell me the dream, you are doomed. So, you have conspired to tell me lies, hoping I will change my mind. But tell me the dream and then I'll know that you can tell me what it means. The astrologers replied to the king, No one on earth can tell the king his dream. And no king, however great and powerful, has ever asked such a thing to any magician, enchanter, or astrologer. The king demand is impossible. No one except the gods can tell you, you your dream, and they do not live among, here among people. The king was furious when he heard this, and he ordered that all the wise men of Babylon be executed. And because of the king's decree, men were sent to find and kill Daniel and his friends. When Ariuch, the commander of the king's guard, came to kill them, Daniel handled the situation with wisdom and discretion. He asked Ariots, Why has the king issued such a harsh decree? So, 
Ariot told him all that had happened. Daniel went at once to see the king and requested more time to tell the king what the dream meant. Then Daniel went home and told his friends Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah what had happened. He urged them to ask the God of heaven to show them his mercy by telling them the secret so they would not be executed along with the other wise men of Babylon. That night, the secret was revealed to Daniel in a vision. Then Daniel praised the God of heaven. He said, Praise the name of the Lord, O the God forever and ever, for he has all wisdom and power. He controls the course of the world events. He removes kings and sets up other kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the scholars. He reveals deep and mysterious things and knows what lies hidden in darkness, though he is surrounded by light. I thank and praise you, God of my ancestors, for you have given me wisdom and strength, for you have told me what we ask of you and reveal to us what the king demanded. Now, din sa atong gibasa igsoon, si Daniel and his friends along with the wise men of Babylon, they were in danger. Ang ilang sitwasyon, lisod kaayo tungod kay ugdili, masulti nila unsa ang damko sa hari ug mahubad ang kahulugan ini. Nagpasabot nga sila uh, nagpasabot kini sa ilang kamatayon. Busa dinhi uh, hatagan natong pagtagad tungod kay ang ilang sitwasyon uh, mamahimo pod nga ang atong sitwasyon uh, nabutan pod sa lisod sa makanila tungod kay halimbawa uh, sa atong panahon karon kung pananglitan you will be infected with this coronavirus and you have some uh, problems already in the body, problem in the kidney and in the heart and some other parts of your body nga pwede maapektahan during the infection o kini muhatod kini mo nga to sa kamatayon o lisod kini nga panahon. And so, din he dun ay pipila kabutang nga gihimo si Daniel sa usaka seryoso nga sitwasyon nga sama sa atong sitwasyon nga atong giatubang karon. Una, mao nga sa atong gibasa that Daniel handled the situation with wisdom and discretion. So, bisag unsa nga sitwasyon sa atong kinabuhi mga igsuon, kinahanglan ato kini nga i-handle with wisdom. Ato kini nga uh, importante ang kaalam og ang ato ang kahibalo nga gikan sa Dios unsaon nato pag uh, atubang nining tanan. Og uh, dinhi kun imo na matingnan mao nga uh, una nga gihimo din ni Daniel mao that uh, he wanted to understand the issues why the king made a harsh decision of killing the wise men of Babylon. So sa atong bahin pod uh, mas maayod nga masabtan nato pod ang dagan sa atong sitwasyon aron nga sa mao nga pagsabot igsuon uh, masabtan nato gayod o uh, makahibaluta ang sa angay natong pagabuhaton matag uh, ang ato ang gobyerno nagahimo o balaod o ilabi na sa panahon nga sa manini when it comes to health issues so dunay mga bag-o nga mga nagagawas nga balaod either ibalik sa lockdown or ipadayo na lang kini nga uh, modified nato nga general quarantine igsoon uh, kini nga mga sitwasyon uh, ato gayud angayan nato nga masabtan tungod kay kun dili ta makasabot we can immediately jump into conclusion and we will judge uh, into something that we ourselves did not understand so well. So, mas maigyod nga atong masaptan ang maong nga mga issues. Ikaduha, maong uh, we have to request more time for revelation. 
kinahanglan na to ang taas ka panahon. And that happened in the case of Daniel. He went to the king and asked the king that if the king could give them more time for the revelation that comes from God with regards to his uh, uh, dream and the meaning of it. And, yeah, and the king granted his desire. And in the same way, I believe that to all of us, we need to have more time uh, when it comes to the situation o gikinagla na to more patience uh, more strength and more uh, help that comes from the Lord in our situation so that we may be able to face all these things with uh, confidence and at the same time with joy in our hearts and the third thing was Daniel gathered his friends for support and prayer. And I believe uh, in the same ways atong sitwasyon karon what we needed is the support of our co-believers asking the Lord that the Lord will reveal to us more of what these things are happening and we don't know what will happen next or in the coming years. So thank God because the, the good thing that we need to do is to pray one with the other. We need to be united in asking God. And the Bible tells us that if two or three agree together asking from the Lord, then the Lord will grant and answer our prayers. And indeed, the Lord grant the prayers of Daniel because that very night, the Lord revealed to Daniel regarding the vision and the meaning of it. And so the fourth thing that Daniel did was he praised God for the answer. And for us, there's always that need to thank the Lord and to praise Him because we believe that our God is uh, an, an answering God. And uh, He always takes care of us. And once we are calling Him with uh, total confidence and trust and asking the Lord for more guidance and more power, and more anointing and more blessings and so on and so forth then i believe that the lord god will also provide us and answer us according to our needs because that's what the bible tells us that the lord will answer us or answer his people anybody that will call upon him they will not be put to shame they will receive an answer that comes from the Lord. And those answers that they receive, naturally, the Bible tells us it would bring glory and honor to the Lord. And so, brothers and sisters, we encourage you that every time you receive an answer from the Lord, whether it is small or it's really a big answer from God, then just praise Him. Thank Him, exalt Him, honor Him because He deserves the praises and adoration because all that we receive, it is not by our own power or authority or own knowledge and wisdom. It all happened because of the help of God. So uh, we need to continue to trust in Him. And because Daniel and his friend trusted God, the Lord answered them. And after that situation, the Lord or the king promoted them to a higher position that they will govern uh, Babylon. And in the same way, I believe that the Lord will also uh, put us into a higher position that we can do ministry more because uh, we trusted him extraordinarily our faith has been exercised which other people could not uh, exercise and so today we are so happy that we serve a miracle a powerful God and that God is able to minister to our needs so whatever situation you are in today uh, aside from the COVID-19 whatever needs you have in the family in your job or in your, you are planning to travel in some other places, let's trust the Lord that He will always protect and will provide all our needs. Don't doubt, brothers and sisters. 
you need to trust the Lord. You need to put your faith in Him because it is the only thing that pleases God. And that once God is being pleased with you, He promised that He will reward those people who are seriously, faithfully, and uh, trustfully coming to Him and that those people will receive a great reward. So we, we, we need to thank the Lord for all the things that He has done. This time, let's thank God for the blessings He has given us. Father, we thank you for all the blessings that you have given us. We thank you, Lord, for the strength. We thank you, Lord God, for the power that comes from you. We thank you, Lord God, for the anointing we're in, Lord God, as we share your goodness, your word to other people, Lord. The, these people were encouraged, were strengthened also in the faith, and that also, Lord God, many of them became a blessing to other people. So, Lord, thank you that this week, Lord God, would be a wonderful time together with you, with your presence, and also, Lord God, with other believers, and also within the family as we strengthen one another's faith. Bless us all together and thank you for the way you will provide all our needs. All this we ask and we give you praise and the glory, Lord God, for all the blessings in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. God bless you. See you again next time.